Hey there and welcome to Afterwork. My name is Valentine and in this channel we talk about various data science topics that are important when you're starting out your data science career. If such topics interest you, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Alright, so let's get started with our topic of the day, becoming a data scientist in the retail industry. So in this video we're going to talk about the specific projects that you might undertake when you would um, work as a data scientist for possibly a retail store or a supermarket or a big, big um, um, retail store. And some of the things that we're going to be talking about might include um, being able to perform sentiment analysis, which simply means um, looking at data that you've collected about customers and trying to understand whether customers are happy about a particular um, product that you're offering or they're not happy. So being able to perform sentiment analysis is some of the work that you might undertake well, while you're a data scientist working in the retail industry. You might also um, end up doing the core work uh, within um, retail stores pertaining data and that means you would end up doing a lot of analysis on the inventory management side um, trying to understand um, how products um, are being sold like you know um, doing an analysis on stock availability in order to recommend say um, the purchase or the 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 um, um, the supply side on, on you know which products are actually on high demand and at what rate um, are they um, on high demand and when exactly do you need to um, contact possibly um, suppliers to ensure that um, that particular product that's on high demand um, is always in stock. So um, you will do a lot of work of still pertaining on inventory management on the sales analysis uh, aspect. With regards to maybe working as a data scientist um, still on, on, um, on with companies that um, perform, say they do have e-commerce platforms, you might end up um, doing projects related to personalized marketing. This might mean ensuring that you're able to make recommendations to users on the kinds of products that they might be um, uh, willing to to, to buy based on um, historical um, um, data that you have of other customers. So you'd try to understand this particular customer um, probably bought A, B, C, D. So it means that this other per person who's buying A, B, C, or, or these two other products would be also um, likely to purchase another product. That's that's usually what is referred to as market basket analysis of or associative um, rules mining that um, you would end up um, uh, undertaking. Um, you would also be in a position to understand um, um, customers, maybe performing customer segmentation, understanding you have high value customers as well as low value customers and be able to spearhead some, some campaigns to ensure that um, you're able to increase sales for a particular product um, 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 at a particular time, maybe during high season or low season. Um, still pertaining to the projects that you'd be undertaking, you might end up um, also undertaking projects involving price optimization. If you work on, um, on the e-commerce side, you might undertake um, coming up with a product that is able to make recommendations based on other pasts, on, on um, users users past purchases um, you would recommend products and at the same time you would um, optimize the prices so that customers you're able to get the most out of customers based on um, um, previous purchase behavior for customers so those are also kinds of um, products that you could end up coming up with um, for organizations for retail organizations um, with the goal of you know maximizing revenue as well as optimizing say the processes that you have within organizations um, there are also different kinds of projects that you could undertake maybe fraud detection to just understand um, possibly um, 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 some anomaly patterns within um, 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 your organization pertaining maybe sales pertaining say inventory management 
Um, yeah, so, so yeah, so that's basically it with regards to working as a data scientist within the retail industry. There are many other applications or di different kinds of projects that you would undertake, but hopefully those um, few projects, um, kinds of projects that we've mentioned would give you a good idea of what you would expect to work on as a data scientist and hopefully you decide to undertake um, such kinds, um, you, you, to undertake this path of becoming a um, retail data scientist, data scientist. All right, so if you liked this video, be sure to give this um, video a thumbs up. That way other people who um, um, uh, would like to um, learn more about this topic would get recommended by YouTube. And if you would like to hear more about um, um, data science beginner videos such as these ones, be sure to subscribe and we, you will get notified whenever we post future videos. Alright, so that's it and see you in the next video.